over the years on this YouTube channel, I've tried to bring you the out of the ordinary invertebrates. There was insects and invertebrates that never get a look in elsewhere on YouTube and rarely on websites on the internet. And over the years, I've brought you a range of larval cases produced by the larva of Coleophora moths. Coleophora are a range of moths, all micro moths, and in general, all very, very similar and hard to determine unless you've got a microscope and a scalpel and good eyesight, of course. But although the adult of Coleophora of most species are very similar or at least have several lookalikes if they are distinctive in any way the larval cases are well worth searching out and the majority of the species are all quite distinct and separate and relatively easy to determine on here as you may well have gathered there is another Coleophora larval case and if you haven't yet determined whereabouts this case is, look on the lower left of the screen. Just there. May well look like three seed cases, but it's actually a larval case attached to a seed. This is the larval case of Coleophora trifolii which in this particular instance is feeding on the seeds of yellow meliot and those seeds are now going over and ripening we're now in the last week of August so if you're intending on going out to find this species good luck it is a difficult one to find although it's like so many things once you've got your eye in and you know exactly what you're looking for and where to look it turns out to be quite easier and as I found today much easier than I first thought I'm here at Bevercoats Pit Wood and I've come away off the beaten track because it's far quieter than where this laurel case was actually situated but when I first approached the plants and have yellow meliot I was filled with dread. Nick and Samantha Brownlee had photographed a larval case the other day and said it's on the plant on the left of the track. There are lots of plants on the left of the track, but fortunately the cases are actually quite easy to see when you know what you're looking for. And of course you can see the case, it's the lowest of the two seeds that you can see. And eggs are laid by the female obviously and the young larva burrows into a developing seed and as it eats the contents of that seed it needs to increase the size of the seed case so it burrows into another seed and attaches that seed to the existing one and that's what you can see here there's the original seed and the case that the larva created it then fed on this seed and then is now feeding on another seed although I get the feeling that these are now in the pupation stage there are a couple of cases on here it is a fairly difficult case to find but say once you've realized what you're looking for and you know what you're looking for it's as in the case of everything it takes a bit of time to find stuff not everything will jump out at you or fly into your face sometimes you have to work a little bit and put a bit of effort in to find things and it's uh, this is a larval case that I've wanted to see and never been able to find it probably to be honest because I never looked on the right plant and didn't exactly know where to look, when to look, and what to look for. But now I do, I can quite confidently go and find this larval case now at some of the regular sites that I go to. And late August, any time around now, probably during August, is the time to look for it. And when the seeds are still 
in the development stage and are still green the larval case is probably far easier to find because you'll be looking for although it'll be a smaller larval case it will be black and it will be a black seed apparently attached to a growing green seed it's quite amazing to think that inside that there is a larva or maybe a pupa now do you know nature's absolutely wonderful sometimes people have no idea just what's around them amazing to think that over the years here at Bevercoats it would I've walked to walk past these plants and very probably they've had these larval cases on each time I've gone past them quite a fabulous larval case in terms of size of what you're looking for the two sort of seeds that are fixed together by the larva to create the larval case both the ones I've showed you are between 8 mil and 10 mil once you've got your eye in they are quite distinctive but the more that the seeds ripen the less obvious these cases are and Coleophora trifoliae is fairly common regularly occurring at MV light and in terms of Coleophora adults although I've said that most Coleophora adults are virtually impossible or very difficult to determine by adults Coleophora trifoliae is a very large it's a very handsome moth the wings are a metallic bronzy green it's a very attractive species and far larger than any other Coleophora adult that I've ever trapped before. But this is certainly a case that you can go out and find now. You may have to put in a bit of effort and a bit of time, but if it's on site, then it's well worth having a look for. I waited a long time to see this and I'm grateful for Nick and Samantha Brownlee pointing me in the right direction. How many of these have I walked past over the years? I'll never know. But chances are I won't be w walking past a yellow melliot without having a look. <laughs>